Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how I use this scrap piece of composite decking material to replace the metal cutting blade on your bucket for snow plowing. Using this composite decking material will allow a little bit more give rather than the metal cutting blade so it doesn't damage your concrete. One thing to keep in mind, however, is a plow traditionally has some sort of spring on it so that if you were to hit something, the, the shock of that impact would be absorbed through the spring and then it would likely jump your blade over, over whatever you impacted. So because this doesn't have that, you need to be really mindful about your speed and try to be very careful of what you're going over because it does open the opportunity for there to be some damage if you hit it going too fast. It could bend any of your arms or any of the other mechanics of the loader. So just be mindful of that. Here's a quick view of uh, about a season and a half of use on one of these pieces of decking material. You can really see how much it's kind of ground down on the front here. And then it's chipped away at the little lip that I had on the front. It was actually in pretty good shape until I really had to dig at some ice uh, a few weeks ago. So we're gonna replace this today and I'll show you how we do that. These nuts are a three quarter bit, so we can just pop these off really quick. Here's a little bit closer look at what this looks like after a year and a half of use. Definitely time to replace it. All right, I've got my two pieces here. This one's a bit bigger, so I need to mark it so I can cut it down on the miter. Just got a Sharpie, just gonna draw that line. Then also, when these are lined up here, I am going to mark these holes. The first time I did this, I used the original metal blade, but this time I'm just going to use this blade. Okay, I'm gonna go cut this down on the miter saw. I'm using just a standard Diablo blade that should cut this just fine. I got this cut down on the miter saw. Uh, what I'm gonna start with here is a quarter inch drill bit. Just give me a little bit of a pilot hole to help guide the bigger bit through. Okay, the bigger drill bit size that I'm using is a 31 64th. Um, I don't have a half inch and I'm pretty sure that's what this bolt is. So I might have to wallow it out a little bit. All right, we got one cut. We can try and test the bolt and that fits just fine. So we can go ahead and drill the rest of these. So one thing that I did last year was I took the drill bit and kind of hollowed out an area here so that when you put the bolt in, it would sit flush with these higher ridges. However, over time when you're plowing, you're grinding down these, these higher ridges. So this is what that ended up doing was exposing these bolts and then these bolts were grinding against the concrete. So that did two things, it damaged the bolt and then it also, I saw some very slight marring on our concrete from, from these bolts. You can see on this bolt how it's been ground down versus a new bolt that's straight. So one thing I want to do rather than hollowing out a small area here just to make the bolt flush with these higher ridges, I'm just going to take a multi-tool and cut out these ridges here so that I can get the bolt head to sit flush all the way on the bottom down there. I'm not entirely sure what bit I want to use for this. I'm going to start with this nail embedded wood bit here and then see how that goes. I don't want something with too aggressive of teeth because I feel like that would be hard to kind of control on this material. So we'll give this one a shot. And get some ear protection for this. You can see where I cut out here. There's the piece that I cut out, pretty small. And that will now allow the bolt to not hit any of these two ridges. These bolts here have a square head on them. So what I'm gonna do is take a step drill bit and hit this a little bit in here just to give a little bit wider profile at the top to help give the square part of the head here an area to kind of sink in. And then that will allow it to bite into this material a little bit better too. I just used a step drill bit and took it up to about 
five eighths of an inch. You don't want to go too much because we already have it the size of the bolt and you want that to remain snug. So this does sit, sit in a bit more. What I'm going to do now is attach the bolt to it just to show you on the table here how much this will sink into the, the material. So before you even start, you can see it's recessed in there pretty good. I, I would say that's acceptable for for my use case, but we'll tighten it up and see how much tight air it gets. I tightened up that nut and you can see now we're basically flush with the lower part of the vacuum material there. Next thing I'm gonna do is cut out all those ridges and then do the step drill bit and then we can start putting it on. All right, this is all ready to be put onto the tractor. All right, back to the tractor, we can start putting this on. I'm gonna just start somewhere in the middle here and bring one of the bolts up to the bottom. Now I can work on the rest of them. Now it's holding itself there. All right, let's start tightening these up. You may notice there's not a whole lot of a lip here. I did that on purpose so when you're curling the bucket forward and really trying to dig at some ice there, if you have that sticking out too far, it's gonna put a lot of leverage on there and it would likely snap at the bucket if you put too much weight on there. So it being pretty small like this, so hopefully that should eliminate that a bit. But I didn't have any issues with it last year doing that and it worked out great. This is going to be the first time that I've plowed since we put the shop in. So I used to be able to just push all the snow off to the side. So I'm going to kind of figure this out as I go. All right, let's test this guy out. done with the driveway area over on that side is all asphalt milling so i don't like to plow over there if i don't have to i was really riding the front of this to get some of the the more frozen stuff in front of the shop there but very little wear on this still totally solid and works out great so that's how i set up my kubota bx 23s for plowing the plows second hand for these are pretty hard to find and when you do find them, they're fairly expensive. So this has worked out for me over the last couple of years and really happy with it. So I'm just gonna keep on doing this. If you guys have any questions about how I did this or any comments or suggestions or anything that uh, you would do differently, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.